This time on my classic WoW journey, we continue questing through the lush, bodacious, women-filled paradise of Ashen Ve- I'm dying inside And all I see are demons I try to hide All my deepest feelings We begin hunting satyrs and whilst on my hunt I see a higher level filthy rogue getting clapped by two mobs and seeing this as my opportunity to take revenge on rogues, who, as you may know, killed me many times during my journey, I aim my shot, the arrow is flying, and where the f*** did he go? In a PTSD-induced panic attack, I flee for the nearest cover and I lie in wait. I then spot the rogue below me. He is now much healthier and once again my troll brain with suicidal tendencies kicked in and I fall down below. Luckily for me, he doesn't notice, so I leave him be and I wait for him to move on. We finished my quest and I hearth out. Now for one of my quests, I needed to travel to Booty Bay, a harbor in Stranglethorn Vale. And so I departed to Gromgall Base Camp and I set out into the jungle with determination in my heart. I wanted to go the fastest way possible, this would mean that I would have to cut through the jungle and avoid the road, as there might be Alliance players waiting around the corner for my unsuspecting troll ass. This was a huge mistake as there were many raptors awaiting my arrival around each tree, and I was ripped apart and devoured. Like my last experience in Stranglethorn, I die and I resurrect at the Spirit Healer as it would be faster to my destination. I enter Booty Bay, the pirate capital of the Eastern Kingdoms, a neutral zone for both Horde and Alliance. On the dock to my right is the box I need to pick up for my quest. Since I was already there, I might as well grab the flight path as well. As I'm walking back to the dock to board the ship I need to get back to Kalimdor, I am trailed by a female human rogue, and I am stabbed and killed. <sighs> female human rogues and male human paladins are just as bad as any fucking gnome. They are scum of the earth and they will rue the day they mess with me just you motherfuckers wait because once you die, I'll be waiting for you in the nine circles of hell! I sail to Ratchet and fly back to Ashenvale to turn in my quest. I then tame a wolf to gain the pet ability, Furious Howl. We're not gonna repeat the name, as I want to keep my channel. If you have working retinas, then you can see it for yourself. Together, we set out to slaughter furbolgs in their own home. We soon learn that we're not the only invaders and neither the strongest. After resurrecting, an orc and I tag team and escort quest together, and after parting ways, I find an alliance player who is 10 whole levels below me. Naturally, I think that I am obligated to leave him be as he is no threat. But then I remember that if the roles were swapped, he would smite me where I stand. I wave to him and I wait until he passes me by, and I shoot his ass in the back with no remorse. Don't judge me, you would have done the same. Just imagine if it was a gnome. I finished in Ashenvale and I traveled back across the barrens to Thousand Needles, a place where tests of faith involve throwing oneself off a cliff, culling the local populations, stealing under other players' noses, and more fucking escort quests. I was invited to a group for an elite quest, and the last fizzle of my working brain cells must have faded as I walked into all of the mobs on the way to our location. Since I was super embarrassed about it, I just said that I was ganked by a higher level player, which sent my group on a bit of a wild goose chase. We eventually gather ourselves and slay the enraged beast in the cage, and I leave to hand in my quest. On the road, I encounter a high level alliance player, and... I find myself doing yet another escort quest. <sighs> it's like I'm playing a fucking Ubisoft game or something. After helping an old lady cross the street, I slay Arnak, Grim Totem, and Grenka. Returning to one of my quest givers, I am attacked by some heated locals. It really is a wonder why these savages can behave like such animals. Having my fill of Thousand Needles, I decide to quest a little more in Hillsbrad, and as I walk back onto the Zeppelin, I meet, once again, the one and only, the Scubaist of the Dubaist. It turns out we're both going over to quest in Hillsbrad. 
We already have the same quests, so we group together. Scuba invited his higher level friends as we wanted protection from the racist hate mobs of the Alliance players who wanted us to go back to where we came from. We slaughter the Murloc population, and as we traveled to the land where the Naga were residing, a high level Alliance player attempted to penetrate our group to get an easy kill. Their greed is punished with death. It's amazing how stupid some players can get within their bloodlust for a lower level horde player. Once we get to our location, we let our mage AoE farm the Naga and we collect quest items afterward. My quests were finished and we part ways. And I haven't seen him online since. The next day, I find myself back in, questing in Thousand Needles and... What? What the fuck? <coughs> Anyway, I wanted to do Razorfen Crawl, so I started gathering the required quests. Some of the quests I gathered may or may not be fueled by my immense hatred for humanoids about three feet tall. With all the necessary quests, I log off. Hey, this next part of the video was streamed live right here on YouTube where you can chat with me in real time. No worries, man. I'm 27 and I'm still figuring out life, lol. Fuck, man. If you're, like... <sighs> Yeah, like, be- And of course, it is not required and I won't ask, but I also have a donate button as well for anyone feeling generous. Streaming is still very new to me, so I am learning, but regardless, I would love to see anyone tune in. I stream Fridays and Sundays 4pm PST to 8pm PST. Anyway, back to the video. A rogue and I team up to slay Arikara atop the Dark Cloud Pinnacle. Afterwards, I jump into the water below. I then attempt to confidently solo on an elite quest and I return with the help of a rogue and the both of us decide to continue this quest chain to Stone Talon Mountains. After reaching our destination, we spelunk through the Talon Deep Path, which would have been really useful two episodes ago because this leads us back into Ashenvale. I'm left alone to continue the quest inside a barrow where the enemies randomly disappear and friendly NPCs don't help you in combat like they don't want the smoke. It's in this cave that I'm surrounded by the nightmares of my sins from earlier. I collect what was required of me and I run the fuck out. I'm sorry nightmares, but there's already enough wrong with what's left of my current sanity, so I doubt that you can infect it. Once I return to my quest giver, he gave me a question I was not knowledgeable enough to answer, and luckily for me, my chat was not as feeble-minded as I was. I now had a quest that ties into Scarlet Monastery, which ties into another one of my Razorfen Crawl quests, which I was doing relatively soon. Feeling content, I found a group for Razorfen Crawl, and let me tell you, it's not a super eventful dungeon, so a good chunk of this dungeon is cut out. Since it was going about the same as my previous dungeon experiences, my chat had told me that just agreed on pretty much everything since I was closing in on 40 and I would need at least 75 more gold for my mount. As we continued through the dungeon, our healer got upset with me as I still don't know how aggro works. He continues to be upset with me as we go along, and I explain that I've never played the game before up until last month, so he can suck my dick and balls. Yet he persists and says that I've told you twice now, but if anyone here remembers what I said in my third episode, it's that I don't fucking learn. In the middle of regenerating mana, a viewer in my stream whispers to me that I should grab one of the boars from this dungeon as it's a really good tank and up to this point, Big Motherfucker was only good for being underleveled and dying. So I got myself a boar and we started another escort quest, oh my god, who would have thought? After the dungeon, I went to sell my items on the auction house, and I mistakenly put 11 silk cloth up for 50 gold, something only my chat was able to notice. I handed in all the necessary quests, and this leaves me in the Undercity at the end of this episode. The channel growth continues, and I could not be happier with the amount of support I've gotten recently. I've decided if we hit 1k, I'll do a Q&A on Twitter and here on YouTube, so you can comment on any of my videos or use the hashtag RoskerQNA pinned to my profile, and I'll collect all the ones I can. Don't forget that I stream Friday and Sunday 4pm to 8pm PST, would love to see y'all there. I wouldn't worry if this is your first time seeing this troll, because he's gonna find you again, sometime soon. Hello there, thank you for watching my video. Any feedback would be much appreciated. Did you know that I stream sometimes, and that I have a Twitter account? Both are linked down below. Have a fantastic day, you beautiful human being you. Bye bye now.